Hey there, and welcome to episode three of Fourth and Four. Again, this is four fantasy football themed topics in four minutes. Last week we did quarterbacks and wide receivers, risers and fallers. We're going to go with tight ends and running backs, risers and fallers. I'm going to start with Tyler Higby as my riser at tight end. He came on like wildfire in the final five games of the season last year. He had 43 receptions on 56 targets, 522 yards, and two touchdowns. If you translate that over 16 games, which obviously is a bit crazy as uh, a translation, but over 16 games, he'd be the number one tight end. I don't expect number one tight end, but I do think with Brandon Cooks out of LA, there's a huge target share that Higby's going to step up and take. Goff had the most pass attempts last year, and I don't think the Rams have much of a running attack unless Cam Akers really breaks out. And without with a very limited training camp, I'm starting to dial him back a little bit in my projections. And I think that the Rams are going to be very pass heavy, and they're in a tough conference and division. So I think there'll be plenty of games where they're playing from behind. So I don't think the Goff's pass attempts are going to come back too much. And I think Higby is primed to be a top five tight end. And right now he's going as the number eight tight end. I think he's going to be a weekly fixture in your lineup. My father at tight end is Darren Waller. He broke out in 2018 with 90 receptions and over 1,100 yards. Those are great numbers for tight ends. However, he had just three touchdowns in all 16 games last year. He had seven games with less than 52 or 52 yards or less. So in half the game, almost half the games, he had either 52 yards or less. Vegas also added Henry Ruggs, Nelson Aguilar, and Jason Witten. Those aren't huge threats to Waller, I don't think, this year. But there are already a team that's 50-50 pass and run. And they have Josh Jacobs, so they're going to definitely feed, the, feed him the ball the most. I don't think there's any chance he matches the reception total next year. And I just don't see a real high ceiling with him. So I'm taking Higby, Ingram, and even Gronk over him while Waller's going as a top five tight end. Now at running backs, my riser is Miles Sanders. I have him just outside the big five, and I, I'm taking him at the back end of the first round. He's currently going as the 12th running back off the board, according to Fantasy Pros. He got a, he didn't get a lot of workload at the beginning of the season last year because Jordan Howard was running the, uh, starting for the Eagles. But from week 10 on, he averaged 4.7 yards per carry and four, nearly four receptions per game, and he scored in half of those games. In those games, Jordan Howard was hurt, and Miles Sanders was able to start. Miles Sanders now has the whole backfield to himself. That 4.7 yards per carry would put him above Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook, and Saquon Barkley, and it would put him just with Alvin Kamara. Like Those are the guys I would have him right behind, and he's, he showed last year that he's capable of doing just what they did on the ground. He had 50 receptions last year, and that was in the season where he only started half the games. He caught 80% of his targets, too. I think without Jordan Howard there and really no good backups that the opportunity on a good team, I think he'll be fantastic. Like I said, I'm taking him at the back end of the first round, and he's currently going in mid-second as the 12th running back off the board. My faller is Leonard Fournette. I had him in a, my biggest league, and it's mind-boggling that he's going as the 14th running back off the board and 29th overall, according to Fantasy Pros. Scratch the fact that he only had three touchdowns last year. I know if he plays 16 games, he's going to get more than that. But he only topped 50 yards twice in his final eight games and he never had a 100 yard game in, during that stretch he averaged just 3.6 yards per carry that is terrible if you just compare that to miles Sanders, that's over a yard less per carry than miles sanders he had 76 receptions last year which saved him in ppr but that was an outlier season in his first two seasons on a 16 game pace he would have had 45 catches and 44 catches so i don't think 76 is even a possibility for him this this season and the Jaguars also signed Chris Thompson whose only skill set is to catch passes out of the backfield. Leonard Fournette is in the last season of his contract and I just I think he's already on shaky terms with the Jaguars. I can see them being fed up and trying to trade him or just cutting into his workload and if you're drafting him as a top 20 running back you need him to have a big workload going in the third round right now. I just I'm not betting on that and I would rather go with many more higher upside guys than Leonard Fournette. Well, that's it. Episode four will be coming midweek this week, and I'll see you then.